I discovered latte and yeah, <laughs> it was all downhill from there, man. <laughs> man, give me a caramel macchiato and yeah. a mocha. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> We're men. <laughs> It's 2022 and what a crazy ride these last couple years have been. We had to cut season four short because of lockdowns. We celebrated our fifth season last year in 2021. And this is the beginning of our sixth season. Something happened in the middle of season five. I invited Ren and David to hop in the truck and talk about their wake up call podcast. That led to a website project for Interwest Concepts. David's company and parent to two podcasts. David was dreaming up the concept of a new podcast idea. We got to talking and I convinced him that I would be the best co-host for this new show. Male Encounters of the Life Kind was born. We got started in September, recorded a few episodes, and things very quickly became way too much fun. We were able to record nine episodes last year and nail down the coolest recording location, a neighborhood bar. We're gearing up for our second season of Mel Encounters of the Life Kind and record every Thursday evening at Traeger's for any hecklers that want to show up and hang out with us. I want to stick David in the truck so we can talk about this crazy fun thing we just created. Want to see how it goes? Come along for the ride in Ken's Think Tank. Ken's Think Tank is made possible by the following sponsors. Do you need HVAC services or a tankless water heater? Four States Equipment. Whether it's residential or commercial, Four States Equipment has it all. Parts and equipment, sales and service. From restaurant equipment to heating and air conditioning, visit fourstatesequipment.com. Ken Collins Marketing. It's simple. We help small business owners get more customers. Needle and thread. <laughs> Wait. Uh -huh. We've been chatting and chatting and chatting, and yeah. I can't use any of it. This is actually probably the first thing our viewers would have seen in how long you've been in the truck now? Uh, I don't know, a few minutes. Long enough. A couple to... hours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you talk a lot. I thought I, no. I, thought I was bad. Um, yeah, you know, I, I have to say I'm extremely excited about uh, our show. I, I really. Um, Male encounters, life kind. I, yeah. Are we as as we like to call it in the biz, milk. <laughs> milk, yeah. right? Milk. So let's back up because um, you, I had you on the show last season. Well, yeah, with uh, you with and, Ren. You and Ren. Yeah, for and the wake we up call. About the wake up call. And the podcast and so shows. That is a podcast that you run. Um, you own Interwest Concepts. So in Interwest Concepts Inc. I N K. Uh, and I have a beautiful web page designed by, I don't know, some joker that I know. Right? That, some dude. Yeah, some dude. Yeah. Um, that I've actually become fairly decent friends with, but huh. don't let him know. I won't. I won't. Um, He'll never see this thing. <laughs> you know, there's, there's, there is, I have to say though, with, in the show and itself, and in the, in the business, in the overall business, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's so many people that you can really trust. Um, with uh, valuable information yeah, or, you just know. Just insider info. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. so um, I, I, I have to say, Ken, I, I have grown to uh, to trust you. I, I, I think that uh, anybody, uh, and I'm not trying to give you a free plug, but I think anybody interested in setting up a web page design, I, I, I highly recommend Ken Collins Marketing. Now, there's your free plug. <laughs> um, uh, and and you're welcome to call me and ask me about it as well. <laughs> I, I will say that uh, you know in our show I I, I constantly am kind of giving you a hard time, um, <laughs> making awesome. fun of it uh, works, whatever. <laughs> but uh, you um, you you seem to have a good thick skin and it's yeah. kind of rolls off and. It's more fun that way. I, I think so too. I, I'm really proud of what we're doing. Is uh, your, yours and mine, and, and, and in all honesty, it's helping all of them grow that I have on Interwest. Yeah. Um, so through Interwest Concepts Inc. 
Buy Inc. K. Buy in K. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Too cheap to get yeah. it incorporated. <laughs> so through that thing, you have, uh, for now, your biggest podcast. Wake up call. Is the, is the wake up call. Right. Um, formerly known as the general's wake up call. Right, right. Um, so it's it's wake up call. And then you have glow up chronicles. And then between the time that I had you on the show, on this show last time, and now, uh, you created Male Encounters of the Life Kind, and I joined you in that endeavor, and we co-hosted. That's correct. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. So explain, now that we've kind of caught everybody up, go watch the other episodes so you know who this guy is. You already know who he is. <laughs> if you don't know who he is by sight, you know you recognize his voice already. Um but so now catch us up on Male Encounters. So what was kind of the idea behind creating that show? You know, that was, that's a, that's a program and it's, and it's definitely for adults, uh, but it's a yeah. program that's designed to talk about a couple of guys trying to, to figure out uh, where, to, where they fit in, uh, in, in, in the 20, now in, in the 22s now, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, we anything you know can we talk about anything from uh um well i don't know that we've talked about ball sweat yet but <laughs> not yet but it's coming it's a thing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for yeah. those of you that are uh, yeah be sure to tune in yeah. for that show um but you know we've had yeah. um uh, we've, we've had a we had a chef on the show um we've had uh your buddy uh like i that i'd like to call randy collins but it's uh, randy <laughs> large um right. Uh, we've we, we, we've got uh, it, 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 this this year. We're going to have a, a gentleman on that, ju- I, I, and I love that. That's coming up here pretty quick in one of our shows. Um, I love that uh, he's um, he started listening to podcasts because of us. Yeah, I, you know yeah. that just it kind of gives me goosebumps when I yeah. when I stop to think about that. You know. Yeah. The guy never listened to a podcast before, never had Spotify or any other audio kind of app installed, and um, came across Mel Encounters of Life Kind podcast, listened to it. Did liked you know it. this guy before this? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he and so that's how he ended up hearing about it, listening to it is is through me because he's not plugged into anything that he would would be he would yeah. know about it, and so. Yeah, so he listened to it and liked it and decided, I want to keep listening to this. And he travels a lot. So he. It's perfect for that kind to, of stuff. Yeah, listen to that kind of thing <laughs> while he's traveling and um, ended up downloading Spotify very specifically so that he could it's listen so to our podcast. <laughs> And uh, um, and now he's, he's branched you know, out into a couple other podcasts. We should send Spotify a bill. I know. Yeah. I mean, come on, really. We need a well, they're billing us. They are. We <laughs> Amazon too. We should send them a bill. We need at least a reimbursement. I I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which so, by the way, if you want to make a donation, be sure <laughs> Can I put the link on so you yeah. can follow and give us give us your money. Yeah, uh, there's links. By the way, there's links in the description. So Yeah, there you go. Um but you know, I'm kind of, I'm really excited about it, and and you know, I, I, I've talked to people, uh, you know, and, I, and I'm kind of picking. I, I love the fact because the wake up call, we're trying to go more towards music, right? Right. So, uh, I love the fact that I can, I have a, the Glow Up Chronicles, and I have this show w- with you, w- which I, I think the chemistry between the two of us is what's going to help make this show. Yeah. Um, but. It, it, it gives people an opportunity to listen across the board. So, you know, if you're into something in particular, or if you want to know something in particular, you know, especially when it comes to, we're going to, you know, we'll have, we're going to talk about man's health. Um, one of the guests that I've got coming up that I told you about, and you thought it was about a poop doctor. <laughs> I, I don't remember the name of the, the poop group, I think. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. that's right. We're going to have those guys. That's going to be amazing. Um, Yes. But you know they and 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 I, I don't know who would who would take and this is going to be one of my questions and they, and I and they have an excellent sense of humor she does, um, but <laughs> she, they 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 pick up dog poop. 
yeah. for people. So, and I know that's a thing because I used to have a big dog and I hated picking up all that poop. Yeah, it's a pain. And if you got more than one dog, then yeah. Uh, you know, it's yeah. uh, you, you and you, and you go away for a few days, and yeah. the neighbors are feeding your dog, but not picking up the poop. <laughs> right. So then you got to, you, you know, that's yeah. uh, you know. So I, I, yeah, that's going to be the kind of informative stuff we're going to have. <laughs> <laughs> so go subscribe now. Hey, that's right. That's great content, man. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, um, but you know, I I can see a lot of directions. We've talked about uh, 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 like the the <laughs> the bale grooming thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Manscaping. I don't manscape anymore. No. Uh, I don't manscape any less. But, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, I, I don't know. I, and and I would invite anybody that sees this that uh, would would like to be on. And the whole idea is kind of like the same premise as the think tank is is not to necessarily be a one big long commercial right but to uh, if you you know if you got something unusual something that, that has to do that men have to deal with on a on a day-to-day -day basis um, then yeah we, we would would love to have you. I mean, I, I you can follow the link that uh, you I'm sure going to have on your uh, web page. How many episodes did we do last? Se last season was really short because eight, I think seven. Yeah, seven eight. Because we started it late. You know, it, it, was... it, it just didn't exist, and so we started no. it late, and then we shut it down for the season. It, it's funny because <laughs> because we did one, and then we did like, well, let's do another one. Yeah. And then we did another one, like, okay, well, what? And then I think yeah. one of the ones was, well, we lied. Here's one more. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, but uh, more content came out. And, we're, you know, I know we're trying to do a 48-week run, but in all honesty, I think we should, uh, I think we got enough, the way it's going, Ken. Do 52? I think we got enough yeah, content. Well, to be, yeah. <laughs> if nothing else, we could do a best of, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> run out of stuff. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm excited for what 22 holds uh, has in store for us. This show is a show about a couple of guys dealing with being a couple of guys. That's just, that's all it is. Pretty much. And so we talk about things that guys think about and worry about and laugh about and all that kind of stuff. But the show's just not for, not just for men. No. So no. Women, women will enjoy the show, too. They'll get a, an, another insight to the man in their life, the men in their lives, um, that, that kind of thing. Should so, we give them a little tickling of the, uh, the Valentine's show we got planned? Well. I mean, just should we or no? Well, we, we went on to a show. <laughs> And we invited that show to be our show's Valentine's. Valentine's, yeah. <laughs> so, and it just happens to be that there's a couple of ladies, so. Yeah. Also, we're doing it in a bar. Yeah. yeah I mean, we um, we I, record I'm, at Traeger's well, Bar. What What more? <laughs> actually, right? what, what could go wrong? You know, a couple of guys, yeah. a little alcohol. Yeah. And talking Sit about testicles. I mean. <laughs> yeah, talking about testicles. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, I, I honestly believe that uh, it, it's something that I think the internet needed, man. <laughs> yeah. The show is serious, but it's done tongue in cheek. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, we're covering actual things, actual things that yeah. men really think about. And, um, but, I mean, we both have a sense of humor, so we. Well. We uh, come across. We come at it at, in a light way. Oh, I think we're going to do a salsa uh, oh, contest. That's right. I talked to a couple of different restaurants that are interested in entering, like a chili cook-off. Instead of we're going to have a salsa. Yeah. Make-off. Okay. You know. Um, so I, I and you know, what goes better with a, at a bar than s chips and salsa? Right. You know. Yeah. And I and I and I still refer to the old Seinfeld episode of what's more fun to say than. Salsa. <laughs> I mean, really. Yeah. But I am excited about the upcoming year for uh, for male encounters. And you know what I like the most about it is that I'm able to run a little competition because primarily on the Glow Up Chronicles is um, those are ladies. Right. Me and four ladies, three ladies. Uh, my photographer's a lady. My my. <laughs> My, yeah. my, uh, your audio engineer is yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. And my, uh, my I'm intern. the only guy that you've brought into the mix. <laughs> well, I you got, got Eric. This harem of, of. I got Eric. <laughs> oh, that's right. You got Eric, yeah. But yeah, um, 
Yeah, and you know, I don't know how I ever brought you in. Uh, I think it was your brainchild. That I, it was why I decided to bring you in. I thought I'd <laughs> steal it. <laughs> um, but I, I do feel like that um, with with all of that and uh, with with them, they want to run a competition to see who can get the most downloads between the glow up and mail encounters. Yeah. And so it's going to be. So now you know they're all pulling their friends and okay. sending them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I, so if we're gonna officially launch a competition, I'm coming for you, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> we should do a challenge. <laughs> I mean, we need to. Just in, yeah. Because you know they're all about that too. Oh, you know? and, I, and, I, and yeah. I said, and I told them today. I texted them. I have a group text for those ladies on that. I said, hey, I'm on the think tank today. You guys say a little prayer for me. I'm not sure whether <laughs> I think Ken's gonna take me out in the hills and rape me. <laughs> I normally tell people, you're not really competition for me, but so I normally tell people like, that's what I do. I get my competition to come on the show. I drive them out to the best eye and I drop them off. <laughs> yeah, it'd take me four days to walk home. <laughs> I had Brent Garcia on the, on, the, on the show. I told him that's what I was doing. And I said, he said, well, I mean, I could just call somebody. I was like, I know, that's why I still have competition. They keep just calling people for a ride back to town. <laughs> that's, that's the way it works. Yeah. You know, we always, on any of the shows, and if you come on as a guest, we just ask that you be yourself. And I know it's hard for some people to sit down and, you know, they'll talk, like that one lady that we were going to have on Milk. <laughs> Yeah. I like to call her. She was like, man, we were talking to her. She was going to do it. She was all fired up. And yeah. when it came time, when the rubber hit the road, yeah. uh, she she's, was like, no. Nah. chickened out. Yeah. But, oh. man, she would have been ideal because oh, man. Yeah. she would have told you exactly what you yeah. were supposed to do as a male for her. Right. <laughs> no, she's awesome. So, <laughs> so, uh. so, so I would say that if this stays in... <laughs> I would say that any of you ladies that want to come on to tell your side, your your perspective, I would encourage that. That's that's what we're trying. Yeah, we're trying to. You know, I'm an old dog, but I can learn a new trick right. or two. <laughs> and um, and I know that Jerry will really appreciate anything. Yeah. You, <laughs> you know what? That, that that's that's a, also a good point. I mean, like <coughs> well, like we mentioned earlier, this show, Male Encounters of Life Kind, is not. The audience is, it's not just targeted to women. No. I mean, to men. Women can men. can listen to that show, too, and, and get gets some entertainment out of it. And um, so it's not the first show that's like a man show, no. right? There have no. been some other shows, but I've noticed those shows, which I don't know if they're still running or not, but those shows were like stereotypical man shows like they were right chauvinistic and women did not thing. want to watch them no no i'm i'm going to tell you ladies this is this show probably will help you more than you think yeah because it's really into i mean we've been we've been pretty candid i mean both of us love and respect women it, absolutely and, you know, so absolutely neither one of us are chauvinists we both like strong independent women we yeah. get a lot of enjoyment and no we like picking on them absolutely but not behind their back you know you know so we just enjoy women and and so this is it's not like it's not like one of those other shows that used to exist or no. you know that that's just really chauvinist just I'm just going to say it. Women on trampolines, jump, you know, yeah, jumping no, on trampolines no, no, no. and bikinis. It's nothing like that. We it's may just, kid about that. I mean, sure, you, you're going to, but, but, you know, take that, take it with a grain of salt. We're but, both a couple of pussycats when it's we're comes to that. a couple of dudes. You've seen them everywhere. They're just regular Joes. Good that, guys. Yeah. That's just, just having fun with life and chatting about being a guy. You know, I had I did a special on the wake up call that it, that airs sometime in February, March, about uh, Ronnie Spector, and I know that name. Uh, she, her husband was uh, Phil Spector. Uh, her first husband was Phil Spector, okay. um, but he was the one that he she was was with the Ronettes, and um, when he, they got married, uh, he he made her quit touring made her quit doing mm. everything. She had to stay home. It's like a barefoot and pregnant kind right, of thing. Right, right. Um, and 
she actually left his mansion. He had her locked in the mansion, and ha and he she left the mar mansion barefoot. She she got out one night and wow yeah it, it, it's an interesting story. Be sure and catch that on the wake up call yeah. Yeah. because it was one of those kind of things that that's not the kind of man we are. We no. I and I told my my partner Ren I said listen, you know if I was with a woman like that that was that talented. I would spend my time promoting her. Uh, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, like, I would be loving to be, hey, I'm yeah. married to Ronnie Spector, you know? <laughs> I'm her manager. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not only married to her, I manage her. <laughs> and that would be something proud to say, like, dude, I'm her manager. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah, it's not... It's not in any way, shape, or form to to belittle uh, women no. Um, no. or or men who might identify as a woman. I, I don't have any problem with that either. No. Um, uh, it's just more about uh, just us trying to figure, etch our way through this world. Figuring and, things out. Yeah. Enjoying and laughing at the differences between men and women. Exactly. Because there are differences. We're alike in so many ways that people if they really thought about it. Oh, sure. I mean, we have so many fundamental things that are just exactly this. The things that we worry about, the things that we think about, the thing, you know. We just don't the, voice them like. Right. Like. Right. Female of, of yeah. the sex yeah. typically do. Yeah. So I, I just, I don't know. I, 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 I just invite anybody to come in. They just need to come on down to Traeger's anytime. Any it's Thursday, a, four o'clock. Yeah, it's a fun idea. We're recording in a fun environment. Um, so. Yeah, I yeah, like it. I do and too. And I, I enjoy being a co-host on there. I, I enjoy having you. I'm going to give, continue to give you a hard time and make fun of you. You're driving the bus. I'm just the, <laughs> I'm just the heckler along for the ride. <laughs> you know, I love, I love when I ask you something. So we had this conversation yeah. too, man. You just like. <laughs> you, the difference between you and me is you, you're, you're, you're answers are calculated yeah you know you ask yeah. me something I'm just gonna spout off <laughs> and believe me I have learned to regret it later <laughs> yeah. in life, but I'm whatever's on my mind is gonna yeah. hit the floor you yeah. know well, so you're a radio guy so you have to you can't be dead air That's, yeah I guess so <laughs> <laughs> My ex. But I'll give you five seconds of complete silence. So I know. I and I'm exactly and, what yeah, I'm saying. Freaking my butt starts puckering. I'm like, holy crap, Ken! Come on, man. <laughs> People are gonna turn the dial. <laughs> if you can only see what's going on in there. It's oh no, insane. I don't even want any part of that. No, I, I don't. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love you, man. But I don't want inside your brain. You can oh keep it. man. Well, this was fun. I mean, I, I had fun with you and Rand on the show last season, and it kind of spawned. Um, well, it spawned a, this great a, friendship. A business relationship and a friendship and co hosting. Now, see, I said friendship and, first, and you said business first, and I don't know. Man. Well, I guess the business came first. It did. It you did. gave me yeah. the business first. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well. But no, so it's just developed in all kinds of stuff. So, um, so yeah. I'm glad to call you friend and me too. I man. enjoy working with you and, and the show was really fun and it'll be fun to see where it's going because we're going to start developing it a little more. We were sort of playing last year, you we, know, last season. We were. We Over just kind of few episodes, kinda messing with it. seeing what the idea was and just location kind of wise and, yeah. and you know <laughs> we had yeah. a little bit of a food pot with locations. Right. <laughs> they're still fun to listen to, but they're not really directed. Right? No. Um, and so we're, we're, we are sort of aiming in some general areas now that we understand what the show is and, and, it, uh, and everything. It was so, us feeling each other out, basically. Sure. Yeah. You know. Out, not up. Yeah. But. <laughs> well, we did some of that too, but we don't want to talk about the table. <laughs> yeah. Always under the table. Ken's Think Tank is made possible with help from these fine sponsors Basin Home Health and Hospice. 